So what's up, nothing been said. I'm a potentially be more active now. I mean, I say potentially because, I mean, it depends on if I can think of, you know, things to really talk about. You know, and this, this for me, you know, I want to do it because I feel like, you know, is one is good for me because I need to get my emotions out because I have so much built up that I need to release. But then the other thing is I feel like, you know, there's probably people out there who feel the same way as me and maybe they need to get it out. Maybe they need somebody to talk about because I know I feel like, I feel like I don't really have people to really, you know, talk to about this stuff because maybe they don't understand or maybe they're just, they're not emotional enough to talk about it. So I like to just put this out there so then you know, somebody who feels the same way, they can, you know, see this, you know, say what they say about it and you just talk to each other, whatever. So I feel like, like when I work at 9 to 5, it's like, it's like I'm going crazy and I feel like people don't understand because most people had this whole mentality right you gotta work your job you gotta pay the bills but then when you look at those people they stay stuck in that job you know what I'm saying like like stuck to a degree where it's basically like they're one step away from giving up on what they love doing if they haven't already given up and I'm not saying it's not possible to juggle both, but I'm just saying that jobs typically end up taking up so much time that you don't really have the time to invest enough in, you know, that dream or whatever that you have to really be making it successful and making it into something. And then, like, if you notice, like, a lot of people look at it like, Oh, I've been doing it for this long. Or they probably had somebody in their ear telling them, Oh, you've been doing this forever. You're this age, blah, blah, blah. You ain't gonna get nowhere, right? But I feel like it's more so that you spend so much time working your job that you don't have enough time to invest enough for you to be successful right now. So, in a sense, it kind of feels like a paradox. I mean, it's not really a paradox but it feels like a paradox in the sense that it's, you need this money right now you gotta work you gotta do whatever you gotta do to get that money to pay the bills and also to invest in your dream but at the same time that same job that gives you that money that you need right now is also getting in the way of you investing enough time to make your dream a reality and another reason that i feel like you know, people don't understand it's because for them, it's like, all right, you know, um, I think his name, E, what's his name? I think E the Hip Hop Preacher? I can't remember his name, but he does motivational speeches, right? And where he talks about where your, how your dreams, like you have to want them as bad as you want to breathe. And it's like, when you feel like that, it's like, people don't understand because people take it like, I'm not trying to like, judge anybody or but from how they react my perception tends to be they don't really want it that bad it's like they like it they into it but they're not that much into it because it's like you're going crazy it's, you can't take not doing it because it it is like breathing it is like something that you need to do every day and when you're not doing it it feels like it feels like you can't breathe in a sense and I know for me personally it just drives me crazy I feel like I'm gonna explode and like I can't take it no more and I absolutely need to do this I I need to create I need to be an artist I need to spend every second of my life just creating something I can't, I can't just live this life where I'm doing these things that I'm not interested in. I'm not good at, I, I just really don't want to do. And it's just not me. I don't, I don't feel like I'm myself. I don't feel like this is who I am and what I want to be. And I suck at these things. I rather do the things that I'm good at and I 
love doing. We had this whole mentality of working on your weaknesses, but I'm like, okay, but like, all of the successful people, they work on their strengths and they don't care about their weaknesses. They don't work on them. They're like, man, forget those weaknesses. I'm gonna work on what I'm good at. And then the ones that reach that next level who it's like they're not even human anymore are the people who only concentrate on that strength. But then all of the people working that regular job like, oh, you need to concentrate on your weaknesses. Well, I don't want to spend the rest of my life working a regular job. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. But I'm an artist. I want to be an artist. So while I'm not hating on you for working a nine to five, like I got much respect for you because I can't handle that. I want to be an artist. So for me, I feel like it's, I need to focus on my strengths and build those and push those to get myself successful rather than work on my weaknesses. And I've been trying to work on my weaknesses all this time and it's gotten me nowhere. But the more I focus on my strengths, the more progress I make. I would love to like, you know, build a team with people that, you know, I connect with and relate to because there's some people like they're really good, but you just don't, you don't connect with them in that way. And what I really learned from having a nine to five is, I know everybody has this whole mentality, like I'm just here to work, I need to do my job, but that doesn't work for me. I, I can't, I can't do it. I have to, have a relationship with the people that I work with. It's an absolute must for me. I can't do that. I'm just here to work. I'm not here to make friends thing. I, I can't do it. It's just not for me. I know most people can do it, but for me, I absolutely cannot do that. I have to have a relationship with the people that I work with. It's like the same thing with, with friends right i have to have a relationship with you i can't do that that whole distant thing like you know how you have those people that you cool with but you like you you mad distant like i can't do that like i i have to have some vibe with you some type of relationship whatever like i have to have some type of connection i can't do with a lot of people be going now where it's like this lack of emotion and lack of a connection. I can't do that. I have to have a connection with people, even with business. If I'm doing business with you, whether you on my team or somebody I'm working with, whatever the deal is, I got to have that connection. It is what it is, but anyway, I say this because it does have me on this path because where I want to say I, I'm not, I'm not really confused. It's like I know that I want to follow my dream. I know that for a fact, but I feel like I don't know what to do next in a sense of how to get there. But I guess the best I can do is to keep creating and keep putting that stuff out there. And I feel like with this whole coronavirus thing, I feel sorry for everybody who's gotten sick and you know, worse. I really do. But at the same time, I feel like this is the time to really like double down and just, just push them dreams. Like just put in all of the work you could possibly put in. For your dreams like you gotta go with everything you got where every day they got jokes about my voice and i want to change my life to bring a killing to that noise